world of sports, eh? Oh, he's copped a head right to the nuts. Tedesco's butt crack. Ahoy! He's nearly taken security's head off. I have no idea what the waste of world of sports is. Waste of world of sports, ahoy! How's everybody doing? Happy Saturday, and not only is it Saturday, but it is my first day officially on holidays. Yes, Spank the Monkey, ahoy there. What a username. Gamerboy210, ahoy. Leanne Santarosa, ahoy there. UFC is going to clean up, I think. Neil Clarkson, ahoy. How's everybody going? Thank you so much for joining me bright and early this Saturday. Because we've got a few games on. And this one, well, depending on the weather, I say. And I'm going to stand by that prediction. I've gone for the Panthers. I've gone for the Panthers to win extremely big. But keep an eye on the weather, honestly. Because we all know the Panthers and the wet weather, they don't go together, usually. Take a look over all the Panthers' losses over the past two, three seasons, I would dare say about 99% of their losses have been during the wet. A really interesting stat. So I've got the Panthers winning quite comprehensively in this one, but here's the other thing as well that I should point out. It looks like it's going to be a weekend for upsets, isn't it? The Dragons belting the Warriors last night. And the Dolphins spanking the Eels. Panthers and the wet weather, they don't go together. T-shirts available now. No, that, that T-shirt I think would be more like um, the, uh, I don't know, what's something kind of dirty and um, dirty and humorous? That would probably get me banned for selling it. Um, the Penrith Panthers, uh, the uh, the Penrith Panthers, the only wet pussy that doesn't function. There we go. That works. All right. Now with that awkward moment out of the way. Western World of Sports All-Stars, thank you so much to each and every one of you for your continuing support of the channel. I thought it would be interesting to see how many of you drop off after, after comments like that one. Jokes like that. You know what? That's the sort of joke that they uh, went after Trump for. <laughs> Michelle says, I was going somewhere similar, but with moist. Moist is a good word, They're like because it, it creeps people out. I love words that just creep people out. Michelle, are you doing the Broncos game? People have been asking. Broncos Raiders later tonight. We've got a huge triple header of games to today slash tonight. My first day of holidays. I can't think of a, a better way to spend it than by checking out the footy, having a few drinks, having a few more drinks, having some shots if any super chats come through. The old Panther is actually going to the game, which I find very humorous. I don't understand. I'm like, the Panthers aren't playing. And the old Panthers second team are the Titans. The Titans aren't playing. I said, uh, what, a, what a really unusual game for the old Panther to be going to. The Broncos versus the Raiders. Anyway. Uh, Waste of World of Sports All-Stars, yes. James, Quentin Paul, Justo the Orchestrator, The Knee Crumbler, Sports Vault AU, Rod, Richard J, Dustin Fisher, Who's Your Caddy, J. Joe, Gamer Mel, Mr. Ed's Dead, Dan Jam, Robert M, Casper Guri, Defunk, DJ Shack, Kelly, and of course, Vopsy. Walnut Hills, ahoy there, mate. 
Oh, the uh, the AFL is on at the Gabba tonight, is it? Jeez, and isn't the isn't the Titans game at the Gold Coast? So we've got Titans at home, Lions at home, Broncos at home. They didn't plan that one out too well, did they? All the all the respective groups. Yes, indeed, Spank the Monkey. Let's remember Tigers beat Penrith in the rain last year. That has, in fact, been our whole topic of pre-game conversation. I'm so curious to know what the weather is like where they're playing this game. Mitchell Vela Sport, ahoy! So let's actually try and suss that out now before I go making any bold predictions. All right, Carrington Park, Bathurst. Let's go Carrington Park, Bathurst, weather. Right now, 17 degrees, but apparently feels like 16 degrees. Cloudy, but no rain. But I don't know, it's, um, I'm, not, I'm not here. I mean, I'm not there. I'm here. I am here. I'm actually here. I'm not there. So I don't know, but we'll see. Yes, indeed. Speaking of bets. Yes, indeed. We do have a bet on this game. Brought to you by discord.gg slash sports vault. A you. Dylan Edwards, Brian To'o, Isaac Tungo, anytime try scorers. Three legs. I've put a $10 stake on it. $10 stake, $100 return. And I think if it's dry, looking pretty likely as well. I think that's a, a solid three-game multi. UFC says, can I go out on a limb and claim UFC bets are better than sports for bets? You can claim absolutely anything you like. The Tigers come out onto the field. Ready for this game. I think for the Tigers, they just need to not be disgraced, basically. I mean, let's remember the Panthers are not at full strength either. Sonny Luke out, Taylor May out. Tigers have got a lot of outs as well. Yeah, it's an interesting one, that. Who, but look, both teams under strength. I think that's safe to say. Who is the least under strength and will it really matter? Because I think on their day, even an under strength Panthers would beat a uh, fully fit Tigers. And I say that with all due respect to Tigers fans. Anyway, how's the, uh, how's the audio today, just out of curiosity? Can we all hear me? I've been fiddling around with knobs again. I just can't resist but play around with knobs. I see my soundboard there, and I just have to, I just have to play with it. I have to go, I wonder what would happen if I do this. Yes, I completely understand how dirty this sounds. That's the whole point. I'm like uh, Homer or, or Peter Griffin. On the cartoons, whenever I see a button or a, or something that I can twist and turn, like I've really, really got to have a go at that. Anyway, I'm hoping I made it better. Actually, is what I'm hoping. Have I actually, in fact, made the audio slightly better? Because I I noticed on the past couple of streams after I've been fiddling before. Some of my... I talk really loud. That's why when there's a co-host here, my voice goes through both microphones unintentionally. So... 
I noticed in the past couple of streams, maybe it was to compensate for the co-hosts, because all, all, all my all my co-hosts and, and guests are very soft-spoken individuals, comparatively to me. Yes, even Michelle. I am one loud son of a bitch when you put this microphone in front of me. So I don't know if it's just a, a cross. Anyway, who cares? The game's about to kick off. As a matter of fact, the game has kicked off. And it's the Panthers with first use. Let's concentrate on the game now and stop talking about my audio fascination. And uh, it looks like KO is going to be having one of its days today. It's buffered about three times since kickoff, which has been 20 seconds in long. We're 20 seconds into the match, and KO has buffered on no less than three occasions. Four now. It's going to be one of those days where I'm going to have a very hard time watching this game, apparently. Or at least watching it in real time. It's 10 seconds behind now because of all the buffering. I might just have to live with that. Fifth and last for the Panthers, and the Tigers did a job on them defensively. It must be said, that first set of six, the Panthers only getting out to their own 40-meter line. That was a fantastic start from the Tigers. Are they up for it? If you can't lift for a game against the best team of the modern era, then there's something wrong with you, I suppose. And that's the thing about winning, isn't it? The thing about winning constantly... It used to be the Melbourne Storm, and now it's become the... It used to be the Broncos back in the day. Why can't I show you the screen? Uh, Rose, I don't... I mean, I really wish that I did, but I don't have in the vicinity of uh, five or six million dollars to pay the NRL for the broadcasting rights. If I did, believe me, I would happily show the game each and every one, each and every time. So until such time as I'm a millionaire... You're just going to have to fork out for those KO subscriptions. Both teams doing a very good job defensively. I mean, I joke around about it, but I honestly would. If I, if I were a millionaire, I would 100% approach the NRL about some form of broadcasting deal for YouTube. I absolutely would. Now, whether or not they would go for that is another thing, but I'd certainly ask the question. Both teams getting through their work, but big defense. The Panthers, three-man tackle, driving the Tigers back. They're 20 out from their own line here. Naden up against his old club. Although it's been a couple of seasons now. It's still his old club. Now, the other thing to keep an eye on here is James Fisher-Harris, of course, is going back to the... Well, not back to the Warriors. He's going to the Warriors. Has Tungo put an early hit on here? No, says the referee. Fifth and last Tigers. It's scrappy. Neither team's able to get outside their own 40 at the moment. But there are whispers that the Panthers are interested in Stefano Utikimanu as a replacement for Fisher Harris. So he's going to have to put on a big performance. This is his potential future bosses. McKid King, ahoy mate, how are you doing? Oh, and straight through goes to... Oh, they wrap him up. And this is the first time that anybody's gone over the halfway line in possession. Quick play of the balls now for the Panthers. Two tackles left. 30 metres out. Fisher-Harris to Yo. Out the back to Edwards. They've got numbers to the right. Martin draws in. Olam. It's a bad pass, though, to Tungo. They keep the ball alive. Yo dives on it. Fifth and last. But the Panthers are in position. Crossfield kick. Pressure on Naden. Naden does extremely well. And the Tigers have it centimeters out from their own line. 
So yes, McKit King asked what my profession. Uh, I am a small business owner and a graphic designer, full-time graphic designer for a uh, local media company. Walnut Hill says, mate, just become a millionaire and get yourself about 300 million and buy the whole NRL. If I had $3 million that was going to buy something, it wouldn't be the NRL, to be perfectly honest. I've got to be honest about that. I love the game. I love my sports, but I'd be investing 300 mil elsewhere. I'd be more than happy to just pay the, the broadcasting rights that I can tap out of at any time. Here's a good opportunity for the Tigers now to get into the Panthers half. Tackle three and they're up to halfway. Clemmer backs into the defense. I mean, honestly, what looks good is very subjective, but because I work in graphic design, I think that's why, I mean, I don't want to sound egotistical, <laughs> but I think that's why out of most sports YouTube channels, I've got really cool graphics. Like all, all, all my graphics and thumbnails and stuff like that are on point, but given my profession, they would want to be, wouldn't they? The Tigers grub a kick into the end goal, and Dylan Edwards has no choice but to bat it dead. And this is quite a tense start to this match. The Panthers go long with the dropout, and Clamour winds up. That's not a sight you want charging at you from the back fence. Big David Clamour. Tigers on the attack. Good to Kimanu. Takes tackle two. Just 25 meters out here. They stay on the short side. Galvin takes them on. Runs on his own. Oh, they can taste it here, the Tigers. It's right there for them. Across to the right they go now. Buller steps back in field. Wrapped up and dumped by Fisher, Harris, and Sorensen. Two tackles left. Inside ball from Clemmer to Polly. Fifth and last. This is it. The last play in this set. From dummy half goes Coruscant. Puts the grubber kick in. But perfectly positioned. Dylan Edwards, as always. And he collects the ball and gets back into the field of play. Amazing work there from Dylan. I could say that was an origin level play. Perfectly positioned, scoops the ball up, stays in the field of play. A great effort. Now Luai runs to the line. Dummies, falls no one, is crushed in the tackle. Fifth and last, and again only out to their 30. The defense has been very solid from both teams. And both teams also completing very, very high. The highest. And there's a scuffle on him back play. Let's get that on the camera. Oh, there's contact on the leg. Well, we've seen penalties for that. We've seen plenty of penalties for that. That's interesting. We were talking about it. You knew that there was going to be a, a, a game where it wasn't called and we would go back to that Warriors-Manly game where that exact same penalty sent us to extra time as the Tigers go short side and Junior Topu or Tupo is completely unmarked on the left. The Panthers are pretty busy firing up at the referee for missing that contact on Brad Schneider. I can't believe it was missed either considering... It wasn't that long ago that the exact same play happened against Sean Johnson and we got a penalty in front of the post to send the match to extra time. It is the exact same contact, a completely different result. 
And down the short side go the Tigers. And it's Taruva getting a little turned inside out there. And the Tigers are off to a great start here. A little bit of controversy around it in the lead up. But the try itself was brilliant, magical. Great start here from the Tigers. Do they dare to start believing? Four points to nail the kick to come. Happy Coruscant. About 10 metres in from touch on his favourite side. Hooks it around. Six points to nil. The Tigers with the lead. Caesar's been put on report. Hamish McKenzie, ahoy mate. How are you doing today? Seems like uh, we're going to cop some rain out here. If it hasn't started already. I can't tell from in here. Panthers get us back underway. Trailing early. Six points to nil. I really didn't see that coming. I mean, Junior Tupo, he can score tries. There's no doubt about that. I just didn't see the Tigers... As first try scorers. Didn't see that happening. It's been a great start for them. Caesar out to Galvin. They're going to go left again and again. Taruva's caught way in field. Allowing Tupo down the blind side. He's got support. Galvin puts the toe ahead. But he'll be offside there. And this will be a penalty to the Panthers. Tupo caught offside on that, that second kick. Was it the second kick? The toe through. They're having some success down the left-hand side. It'll be interesting to see what happened there to the West Tigers support runner. Because he fell over. Did he fall over legally? It'll be interesting to take a closer look at that. But the Tigers are looking good. Having a lot of success down the left. And he might have taken out he might have taken Olam out here. Schneider. He's dived on suspicion, made contact. And this will be a penalty to the West Tigers. Schneider has jumped out on suspicion. Taken out. Olam would have been an under the posts. This could almost be Sinbin worthy. I think it's a bit far out from the try line for it to be penalty try region. Wow. Challenge successful. And a penalty to the Tigers. Already leaning 6-0. Roseanne, George, ahoy there. Welcome along. And Aiden Caesar puts this one into touch. Duck my sick, ahoy. Welcome along. Tigers on the attack again. Is it raining? It must be raining. That's the only thing I can think of. There must be a little bit of rain in the air. Now, Galvin, inside ball to pole eight. Slow play the ball. Panthers holding on a long time. Coruscant to Caesar. Short ball. Tikimanu, they get a six again. Panthers hold on again. A full set, though, for the Tigers. This is a really, really hot opportunity. Five out from the line. Tackle two. Coruscant. Goes left. Clemmer's there. J. Joe, ahoy, mate. This is the weekend of upsets, isn't it? Mason Beaver says up the Mighty Tigers. The Caesar goes out the back to Buller. Buller 
with the flat pass to Naden. Naden taps on over the head of Charlie Staines. And the old Panthers connection doesn't quite come off that time. The Panthers survive, but the Tigers looking likely they were in there. If that pass goes to hand, Staines is in in the corner, untouched. The Panthers wingers, both of them, very guilty at the moment of turning in, leaving the wing exposed. We talk about it a lot. Not usually about the Panthers, though. Rodney Rapa says, go Tigers. Ahoy there, Rodney. Go the Tigers. Go the Tigers. Here come all the Tigers fans. Quentin Paul, ahoy. Panthers kick on tackle four. Trying to turn the momentum. Put the Tigers on the back foot. Buller takes it. 30 out from the line of their own line here. The Tigers, Olam is bent over backwards. Yikes, ahoy, mate. Six points to nil. They could have had another. Panthers looking a little bit rattled. Just another human. Ahoy there, go Tigers. Up over halfway. Coruscant goes left to Clemmer. Clemmer out the back to Caesar. Cut out pass. Bounces and it's knocked on by Tupo at the back. It was on again, though. As they spread the ball wide. Tungo this time guilty of uh, turning in and being out of position. What's going on with the Panthers' defense? Forget about their attack, which has been a little bit clunky, but because you would expect that without Nathan Cleary. The attack is always going to be a little bit clunky. But what I'm concerned about is the Panthers this season and the wingers leaving their wing on defense, rushing in. It's very alarming. <clears throat> anyway, opportunity knocking here for Penrith Sorensen. They're still completing at 100%. They haven't made a single mistake with the ball yet. The Panthers. Carvey Barr says, I tipped West Tigers to beat Panthers again. So, yeah. Is that a good tip? It looks like it so far. It's way, way too early to be uh, looking anything at the moment. Carvey, through the hands now, yo, to Schneider. Luai. Luai beats one, gets up, goes again. Luai almost through. Fifth and last. Five meters out. Quick play the ball. To oh, into dummy half. Out to Schneider, crossfield kick, perfectly placed. It's lost forward by the Tigers at six more tackles. Edwards fires the pass out to Taruva. Taruva steps, dives for the corner and scores. Six points, four kick to come. Taruva, there you go, UFC. There's a tick. There was no patience there from the Panthers, but they didn't need to be. They just fired that ball out. The mistake from the kick and an unmarked Taruva had 20 meters of space to work with. Steps inside Olam. XV replays, or uh, would that be 15 replays? Taruva on the multi. <laughs> Carvey Bar says the team involved in the home invasion of. Former Wallaby Totai Kefu was on bail at the time. At the time of what? What are you talking about? Teen invade. Oh, on bail at the time of the invasions. Okay. I thought. I thought. Yeah, I thought something else must have happened and it's been connected back to him. And we've found out that he's on bail. Okay, so he was out on bail at the time that he did the home invasion. Well, that's going to make the punishment even worse for him, isn't it? Six points to four here. Dylan Edwards with the conversion attempt to level things up. 
Oh, you didn't know about the invasion? Oh, okay. I knew about that. I did not know about the uh, culprit being out on bail at the time. Edwards strikes it well. It's hooking back. It's over. And we are all locked up at six points at all. 22 minutes, 40 to go. And we're all square again. I don't... <laughs> I would suspect, Carvey, that it was just uh, not necessarily a random attack, but um, I would uh, I would suspect that they didn't necessarily know Toto Kefu lived there. It was... Home invasions are usually opportunistic, aren't they? They're not necessarily pre-planned with a whole lot of thought. So uh, I doubt, very much doubt that the perpetrator knew who was inside. Back underway in the second, uh, second half. Back underway after the second try of the match. Panthers through Yo. Very important set, this one. Mason Beaver says... My dad's dad played for the Magpies as Dylan Edwards beats the first tackle and he's up to halfway. Panthers getting some really good go forward now. Liam Martin out on the right, shrugs off Galvin. Can't get the arms free. The kick goes high, taken at the back by Buller. And the Tigers now, their turn to bring it out of territory. Now, um, the Western Suburbs Magpies, Mason. Buller up towards halfway. Tackle four for the Tigers. Got to keep the heads up here, the Tigers. They've done well to start. Caesar spots half a gap. It shuts down very quickly, fifth and last. Right on halfway. Galvin goes high. Taruva moves forward, takes it, sliding. Sliding for... Ah! Oh. Kenomai... Kenomai... Welcome along from the stands. Thank you very much, sir, for joining the... Wasted World of Sports channel membership there. Cheers. Who's your, uh, who's your team there, Ken or my? Who's your team? We'll get you, we'll get you added to the Wasted World of Sports All-Stars. Peter Wamil, Go Tigers, Justin Ollams fan. Fifth and last here, Luai puts it high into the corner. Taken by Staines, fires it back in field to Buller. Buller steps one, but he's wrapped up 10 meters out. Sua, Silva, ahoy there. High from Samoa, up the pass. That's going to stick, isn't it? <laughs> the, wa uh, the was and pass thing is going to stick. Kavi Bar says... I'm going to the Lions versus Geelong Cats game in the AFL tonight, so you won't be able to watch the Broncos game. You know what? Michelle's going to the Lions versus Geelong game as well. Tackle four. Caesar puts the kick in from inside the 40. It's huge. It's a monster. Bounces awkwardly for Taruva. Passes back in front of the post to Edwards. Edwards beats one, beats two. Draws in Charlie Staines, gets the pass away. There was contact there, I think, and To'o rushes back to collect it for the Panthers. Zero tackle. And now the referee blows his whistle. Augustine. Augustine Ahio. Ahoy there. You play, you play NRL for the, uh, for the Dragons. You're new. Well, welcome along, Augustine. James Fisher-Harris coming off for a spell. 18 and a half minutes to go till the halftime break. Six points all. The 
Tigers are doing well. I'm sure most people probably would have expected the Panthers to have run away with this by now. But they're doing extremely well to uh, hang in there as Edwards again. Dylan Edwards beats the first tackle. Jeez, he's good. Jeez, he's good. Lindsey Smith. Up to the 30. Gluai down the short side to Sorensen. Gets the kick in. Was it played at by the Tigers? Doesn't matter because Toos tried to um, keep it in the field of play and failed miserably at it. It'll be Tigers' ball. But in fairness, I don't think that was played out anyway. So this is rightfully Tigers' ball. I don't think they can be too much complaint about that. Here comes Alex Twall onto the field for David Clemmer. That's what we want to see. Twall time. Walnut Hill says, go Raiders tonight. Oh, I re you know what, Walnut Hills? <laughs> I've got a feeling the Broncos are going to win and win mighty, mighty big tonight. I really do. DJ Shaq, ahoy, mate. You were seriously considering t tipping the Tigers tonight. Well, the Tigers have the ball now on a zero tackle. 40 meters out from the Penrith line. Buller slips into contact with Jerome Luai. In midfield, Otikimanu. Uh, no games yet in Super Rugby Pacific, but coming up later tonight, Brumbies versus the Blues. Force versus Crusaders. Tigers, a few tackles left. In midfield, Caesar. Out to Naden. Naden tries to get on the outside of the tackle of Alamotti. He can't. Two tackles left. Caesar to Twall. That's what we want to see. Alex Twall. 153 votes in on the poll. And it was very close. It was almost a 50 50 split. Tigers, Panthers. Galvin puts the grubber kick in behind Taruva. Taruva's taken in the air. Gets away with it, though. Tackle one here for the Panthers. Tackle two now. Still 10 meters out from their own line. The Tigers sense an opportunity. Isaiah Yo is standing in the Tigers' defensive line. Tackle four over the 20-meter line. Goes Sorensen. Big set defensively. This has been To'o now. Makes a good run on the fifth and last. The kick will come from inside the 40, though. Schneider. Aiming for the sideline. Oh, no, that's a huge mistake. Tupo. What a goof up that was. Tupo, uncontested, no pressure, in and out. What a goof. Peter Wamel, your Justin Ollams fan from Papua New Guinea. Go the West Tigers. Is Adam Reynolds, Payne Haas, and, and Dane Mariner and Pierre Cora going to be back next week? Not sure, Carvey Barr. On the status of those players, scrum down here for the Panthers. Luai in midfield to Edwards. They've got good shape here out to the left. Alamotti taken down. Six again. A full set incoming now, 20 meters out. Sayan Prince, or Sayan Prince up the Bronx, baby. Oh, the Broncos are going to hammer Ricky's Green Goblins tonight. Sorry, Raiders supporters, but um, yeah, you've, you've done well so far in this season, but the real stuff starts now. 360 Marine, PNG Limited, ahoy there. Six again for inside the 10. A full set of six now. Yo in midfield to Luai. Edwards, draw and pass. Taruva gets a double. Simple draw and pass through the back line. 
And Sonny Tarova gets two. And the Panthers lead 10 points to six. All on the back of that mistake from Dan uh, <laughs> Daniel Tupo. All on the back of that mistake from Junior Tupo. That's what put the Panthers in this position. And then again, it was Tupo caught out defensively. A horror little 30 second period for him. Ten points to six, the conversion to come from out wide. UFC, you're flying to Adelaide tomorrow, eh? Nice. The ultimate price, DJ Sheck. Indeed. Ah, that cheerleader was totally checking out Dylan Edwards' ass. You got busted, love. Busted. One way, first class, pimpin. Well, you know, pimpin ain't easy. It was the godfather that said that, wasn't it? Pimpin' ain't easy. Edwards from the sideline strikes it well. It's hooking left. It's hooking left. It's too far left. Hits the post. And away. But the Panthers lead 10 points to 6. 12 minutes to go until the halftime break. And it's Taruva on that right-hand edge who's been the beneficiary beneficiary of the Panthers' backline play. Two tries. Share it around, would you? Share it around, Sonny. How long does the game last? Ahoy there, Sam Sam, by the way. Uh, how long does the game last? Uh, the game still has 50 minutes to go. 40 minutes each half. Wines is about all they've got there in Adelaide UFC, isn't it? Wines and churches. And I'm sure, like the rest of us, you don't want to be going to them. Natasha Fisher, ahoy there. Justin Ollum fan. Go Tigers. We still have the second half. Absolutely, the Tigers are not out of this yet. That's a huge kick from the Panthers. The bounce, luckily for the Tigers, that goes away from the 20. It was a monstrous kick from Luai. Off the left boot. Find space. If it bounces forward, it's a 40-20. But it bounced back very luckily there for the Tigers. Ten minutes thirty to go till the halftime break. Tigers have the ball back, trailing by four. Despite a solid effort, really in the first half. Well, I mean, even if they're trailing, it's still, in fairness, been a solid effort. Galvin on the inside ball two. John Bateman and up over halfway go the Tigers on tackle four. Coruscant, dummy's blindside, goes open. Caesar to Buller. Buller goes on his own. They get all tangled up there, the Tigers. And that'll be the fifth and last. 40 out from the Panthers' line. Caesar to put the kick up. Gee, ahoy there. Dylan Edwards takes it at the back under no pressure. Now returns it, beats the first tackle. Quentin Paul, you've gone to River to score three tries or more on bet 365. Well, 49 and a half minutes for Taruva to get another one is certainly not out of the question, especially if the Panthers can open this up in the second half. 
Do I have any tips for packing? No, I am the absolute worst at that. Anyone who has ever gone traveling with me will tell you I'm the absolute worst at that. Because I, I fall into the mistake of having the mindset of, oh, well, if I've forgotten something, I'll just buy one when I'm down there. But then, of course, what happens is because you've packed what you've packed, you get down there, you realize you've forgotten stuff. So you buy that, that new stuff and you ultimately end up coming back with way more than you went down with, which potentially happens anyway, because you've got to think when you're playing tourist, you're going to go check out the shops, you're going to buy some new stuff anyway. But all that extra space that you've perhaps planned for, okay, this is what I'm allowed to now buy and bring back, you've ruined because you forgot some vitals. Fifth and last now for the Tigers, a good set of six. This one for the Panthers defensively. The kick will be from just outside the 40. It's a solid one from Caesar. Straight down the throat of To'o, and To'o brings it back. Panthers ball once again. Al Alphonse Nicholas, ahoy there. Olam, one try before half time from PNG family. Go Tigers. Eight minutes to go to the break. Here's Taruva. And there is Justin Ollum putting in the tackle. Six again for the Panthers. All right, they're going in for the kill now, the Panthers. They're circling. No, wait, that's Sharks. Sharks circle. Anyway, here they come, the Panthers. 15 out from the line on tackle two. Kenny goes right to Yo. Yo gets the arms free. Passes out to Schneider. Schneider offloads back to Kenny. They go left now. To Luai. Luai steps back in midfield. Takes them on. He's wrapped up. Luai. No, he's not. Luai gets through. And he's now he's brought down just a couple of meters out from the line. Mitch Kenny has the ball bumped down from Api Corusau. And that will be a knock on. And another full set of six incoming here for the Panthers. Seven minutes left in the half. The Tigers have got to hold on here. Walnut Hills says the that uh, Taruva is now the leading try scorer this season. There you go. There's a, an interesting stat. Just another human says Eels so disappointing. Oh, they were terrible last night, weren't they? Panthers change of direction from the scrum. They go out to Tungo. Tungo steps back in field, beats one. He's wrapped up. Ten out from the line here, the Panthers. Yo in midfield. Steps. Isaiah Yo steps, reaches out. He's so close. The Tigers just bring him down. Centimeters short of the line. Kenny from dummy half puts on the swivel. The swirl. And he knocks the ball on Mitch Kenny. The Tigers have held on. There's high tens all around. They're not even doing high fives. They're doing high tens. They're that excited. Mitch Kenny, the wrong play, comes up with a big mistake. Well done, Tigers. Fabulous effort. Scrum down for the Tigers. 10 out from their own line. Five and a half minutes to go to the break, and they're putting on a set play. The Panthers' defense holds firm, though. Iva Tafia, ahoy there. DJ Shaq cannot stress how important that save from Bateman is. Is it Was Bateman the one who, who had the tackle on Isaiah Yo? Because that was a huge tackle. Uh, yeah, that, that, was, that was just monstrous to bring down Isaiah Yo that close to the line. He was there, Isaiah Yo. He could feel it. Now, Buller goes up over halfway, gets the offload back. Tupo keeps it alive. And now here is Finu putting the step on. Tupo is not at 100%, by the way. He has been limping around for the past five or six minutes. 
Tigers go high. Edwards takes it. Beats the first tackle. Now he is swamped by Tigers defenders. Four minutes until the break. Panthers ball, but they've got a long way to go. Upfield. To'o tries to run over the top of Naden. And with some help from Coruscant, they bring him down. The Panthers, though, marching on upfield. Edwards now. Tackle four. 35 out from their own line. Luai's going to kick from inside the 40 again. Find space. The bounce. Awkward for the Tigers. But it sits up now for Staines. Passes in field to Buller. Jerome Luai's got the kicking game working. Three and a half minutes to go until the break. And the Tigers once more pinned down in their own territory. Unrelenting defense here from the Panthers. Is there a twist in this game before the break? Do the Tigers take a chance? I can't help but notice the Panthers' defense very bunched. Do they take a chance and swing it wide early in the tackle count? Caesar takes them on himself. Fifth, fifth and last. Ah, Bateman forced the error. Yeah, there we go. Fifth and last from their own side of halfway. That is a monster of a kick. High in the air. Toto -oh goes down to one knee and takes it. Panthers ball. And there goes Junior Tupo. We were just talking about it. Junior Tupo, he didn't seem 100%. He'd been limping around for the past five or six minutes, and he's been taken off. So there we go. Tupo has succumbed to that leg injury. And he's off the field. Two minutes until the halftime break. Panthers back inside Tigers territory. This will be six more tackles. No, it's been called a knock on as a matter of fact. Wow. Mitch Kenny again has been spoiled and forced into error. The Tigers will get the first shot of the last shot in the first half. One minute 40 to go. Scrum down on halfway. Oh, it was Latu Fainu who stopped Yo. Well, you know what? <laughs> that actually makes it a lot more logical because... If anyone has seen the bloody size of Latu Fainu, probably makes uh, probably makes some sense then. Well, speaking of large people, there's his brother, I'm assuming, Samuel Fainu. Through the hands now, the Tigers. Out to the right-hand edge, they try and go, but the Panthers shut them down. 20 out from the try line. Can they strike back Caesar? To Galvin. Galvin runs to the line. Links up with Olam. Olam draws in the defense. Gets the offload away. But look at the Panthers' numbers there. The Panthers' numbers there. And they swarm Brett Naden over the sideline. Their old mate, of course. Their old buddy, Brent. One, two, three, four, five Panthers defenders there. Ollie, ahoy there, mate. How are you doing? Your girlfriend, Jaquela, says hi. Also, friends, Matt and Charlie and Api. Wait, is there... Hang on. Just so that I'm clear. <coughs> also, my friends, Matt and Charlie, says hi and Api. Are, they, are your friends, Matt and Charlie, saying hi and Api? Or is there also another friend, Api? Valma, Cloudy, ahoy there. Hopefully, Luai and Kenny come through. As the kick goes through, pressure on the Tigers at the back. Buller does extremely well to not only collect the ball, but get back into the field of play from his own in goal. Beware the second kick. Beware the loose ball. And Buller has done extremely well. Once again there for the Tigers. Well, it wasn't even a second kick. It was a deflection 
a horrible deflection that could have gone absolutely anywhere. Buller has done extremely well there. And that will take us into the halftime break. And, and that was a perfectly timed drink. Right on the stroke of halftime. 10 points to 6. The Penrith Panthers, I don't think anything this weekend has really gone the way that people have expected it to, apart from maybe the Melbourne Storm Roosters game, because that was a true 50 50 that could have gone absolutely either direction and did for large parts of the match. But uh, we saw two upsets from two last night. And I think most people would have expected a Penrith Panthers blowout here in this one. But we are going into half time. Game well and truly, well and truly still on. 10 points to six. The Panthers are absolutely not comfortable with this lead. That much is for sure. What will the second half bring? Wasted World of Sports. I'm going to have myself a very quick break for half time. Shortly. Actually, I'll pour myself a new drink first. No, I won't. I'll have a shot. I'll have a shot first. That's what I'll do. Augustina Hio just randomly says Zach Lomax. Oh, hang on. No, it wasn't random. It was not as random as I first thought. Uh... You want to play for the Eels so that you are with Zach Lomax. Fair enough. I'm not sure that anyone really wants to play for the Eels after last night's display. Unless you want to, someone would want to go to the Eels and be the one that turns that team around. Where to for the Parramatta Eels? Should we talk about the Eels? Where do the Eels go from here? I mean, that was just a disgrace. I know that they're missing Mitchell Moses, but they were missing Mitchell Moses last week as well, and they weren't that bad. They weren't good either. It was a far from convincing victory last week. But it, it was a victory, not, a, not an almost 50-point schmozzling. Ollie is the best, wants to play for the Warriors to play so that you can play with Sean Johnson. Not that terrible, though, UFC. I mean, that was abysmal last night. I mean, that was just next level bad. Hungry before dinner. Oh, don't you hate it when that happens? When you get hungry before dinner. Fins were missing like five starters. Exactly right, hungry before dinner. The Dolphins were so under strength. Wasted World of Sports under strength t-shirts now available. Uh, hey, is that Pluck a Duck? Nath J, ahoy there. Welcome along. Is that, please tell me that's Plucker. Who, rem who remembers Pluck a Duck? Madeline Suzette says half time and only four points ahead. I would have thought the Panthers would have been a little further ahead. You and I both, Madeline Suzette. You and I both. Yeah, 10 points to six. And both tries. Both tries by Taruva. Has anyone checked on heel from? I actually, I said during the stream last night, should we send a welfare check out on uh, Old Mate Heel Fries? Because he was, I don't think he was in the stream. Mind you, I can't remember all that much about last night by the end of it. That happens, though. That happens when you're the wasted world of sports. Yeah, good old Plucker Duck. Some of my favorite Hey Hey moments revolved around Plucker Duck. Justin Karam says Tigers will break through. Listening from N Lux Copex PNG. 
Well, let's get ready for the upcoming games as well, because we've got... Ah, oh, Titans versus Manly next. Yeah, that's going to be a bit of a... It's going to be an effort for me to get up for that one. Manly should win quite comfortably, but then it's been a weekend of surprises, hasn't it? It's been a big weekend of shocks. But I'm thinking Manly win quite comfortably there. And then, of course, later tonight, we've got the Broncos versus the Raiders. I've got the Broncos winning quite comfortably. Fortress Suncorp, and of course, <clears throat> who can forget penalty Broncos. I'm sure they'll get plenty of them tonight with the the home crowd roaring at the referee for 80 full minutes. And I have predicted, actually, close your ears, cover your ears, and <laughs> close your ears. Cover your ears, Raiders supporters, because I have long predicted that they're about to go on a six or seven match losing streak. And it starts tonight with the Brisbane Broncos. DJ Shaq says, long story short, Dolphins were scoring at a better than a point a minute from the 50th to 80th minute. And they went half an hour with, without making an error. And the other thing too, like it, that sort of that sort of statistic. There's an underlying issue there when that happens because when teams get blown off the park like that, you could tell just from watching the game. You could tell there was a very clear drop off from Parramatta. They essentially gave up. They essentially gave up, and that's how the blowout happened in the way that it did. It was already blown out. I mean, let's be honest. It was already blown out. And um, it, it was already blown out and the Dolphins had won. But you saw Parramatta essentially just completely switch off. It became a training run for the Dolphins. And now I don't take anything away from the Dolphins at all for their performance and their victory. But... It was also pretty noticeable how the Eels just completely dropped off. They gave up, and that's what makes it even worse. And that is why Bald Beavis was so unhappy in the post-game press conference because they, did, they just gave up. They clearly gave up. They stopped playing. All credit to the Dolphins for getting into that position, but it just became a training run for them. And hence, they went on to that run that DJ Shaq pointed out. Better than a point a minute from the 50th to the 80th. Moses is really the only attacking player in the side. They're clearly missing him, says uh, Neil Clarkson. Well, Neil Clarkson didn't say the clearly missing him part. I said that. But, uh, but Neil said Moses is really the only attacking player in the side. Well, I've been saying for years, years now, that I don't understand when, how, and when did Clint Gutherson get the nickname the King? King Gutho. When did that happen? Because honestly, I've never actually seen Clint Gutherson do anything to justify having that nickname. Wally Lewis was the king, right? That made sense because he was a phenomenal player. He owned every footy field that he ever played on. Well, until he went to the, until he went to the Gold Coast. But I think he'd already, he'd already hung up, he'd already hung up the boots mentally by then. I think he just went there for the money. And why wouldn't you? So how did he even get that nickname? I don't understand it. What's he ever actually done? What's he accomplished in the game to justify that nickname? Abraham Tira says, I don't think Tigers because this is Panthers homeland. So Panthers will be going up to 13 plus. Well, fingers crossed because we need a few try scorers in this second half. What's a meme, DJ Shaq? 
It's a meme. Almost a persona that can't be justified. If put, yeah, logically, if performance is the indicator. Gutherson's King persona is a meme that what that just happened to spill over into all the commentary teams and everything. That's crazy. If that's the case, I'm going to start my own memes, send them viral, and get the commentators to start calling people all kinds of weird things. God, some of the memes that could break out of this channel. Jeez. <laughs> the NRL world would be turned on its head. Uh, anyway, what was I on about? Yeah, so hopefully, hopefully, I mean, just from a pure betting perspective, hopefully the Panthers go on a roll in the second half. It's hard to think, like, we're talking about the Panthers. <laughs> They've gone into halftime leading. They've got the lead going into the break, but we're talking about them like it, it's it, they're getting smashed and need a big turnaround in the second half. One thing I'll say about the um, uh, maybe not a meme so much, but I think they call him king in terms of territory, like he's the king of Parramatta. I'd love to know who started it, though, because the first time I heard it was from the commentators on Fox Sports. And they're like, King Gutho! And in fairness, Parramatta did get to the grand final that year, I suppose. So maybe there was a little bit more. Heel Fries is the king of Parramatta. Oh, I can't wait to show James that one. James is going to be very offended. Abraham says Panthers will still win the game. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. This, they're winning now. That's the thing. Like we're, we're standing here talking about how the... It, it feels like we've been discussing the Panthers getting absolutely flogged at the moment. They're leading. It's just that the Panthers aren't up to the standard we're so used to. They have set such a high bar for themselves of what we expect from them that uh, games like this where they're still winning... <laughs> No, it's all good, DJ Shaq. I, I appreciate the efforts. I just, uh, yeah. I'm... It just puzzles me. It puzzles me because the dude's never accomplished anything. It's just a really weird nickname for somebody to have that is so average, in fairness. I mean, look, he's better than me. He made it to the NRL. <laughs> I never made it to the NRL. Well, the NRL didn't exist when I was playing. It was it was still the New South Wales Rugby League and then the Australian Rugby League. We hadn't gone into NRL territory quite then. <laughs> yes, it was very very wet though. That was that's what I was interested in, the weather. How was the weather because if if uh if it was raining I would have been on board with the Tigers tonight. 100% I would have gone Tigers in the rain. Oh, it looks like dark clouds there. Yeah, interesting. I'm not... Thank you for the sub. I very much appreciate it. I'm not even going to attempt to say that name, though. I apologize for that. No, actually, it's only fair that I try, isn't it? It's only fair that I at least give it a go. I can't just pick and choose... Kalaki Zawiok. Thank you very much for the sub. Penrith finished that game with 12 as well. Yes, indeed they did. But yeah, they were, they were absolutely horrid that night as well. Second half is underway here. Mr. T has just subscribed. Oh, phenomenal. Welcome along, Mr. T.
Expansive play early here for the Tigers. Olam. Taken down on the 30 meter line. Second half going to be very, very interesting. You don't know what you've got until it's gone. I mean, in, in, in so many facets of life, in footy and life in general, such a, a true statement. Fifth and last for the Tigers. Just shy of the halfway line. They go high. Military Dillon's at the back to take it. Hell, fire, paintball, salt, ash, New South Wales, Australia. Ahoy there. Oh, sweet. We've got a, we've got a new uh, sports vault for the next game. Sweet. Abraham says, greetings from PNG to Jerome Luai and Brian To'o. I'll pass that along for sure. Up over halfway, Luai inside ball to Lindsay Smith. Fifth and last, Panthers go high. Well taken by Naden at the back. Two minutes have just raced by here in the second half. Well, Michelle, you know, look, if you're having, if you're having uh, no success with betting, Sports Vault could very well be for you. There is just a fountain of knowledge over there on the Discord. If you're free to join the Discord too, by the way, the disc the Discord channel is free to join, and there's all sorts of knowledgeable people and knowledgeable sorts over there with a whole bunch of information. And maybe, maybe, just maybe, you need something more practical, Michelle. Rather than just pulling names and numbers out the wazoo, something a little more calculated, a little more methodical. That's where Sports Vault AU can come in to use all the bookie bonuses and stuff like that. The all the all the promos and stuff that we don't worry about. We just go pluck, 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 pluck. No, these guys do it a bit more methodically. As the Panthers lose the ball. The Panthers spill the ball early in the second half. Their captains challenge it. We'll keep an eye on that. And that goes not just for Michelle, but for absolutely everyone as well. Learn some better betting habits, some better techniques and whatnot. Take the luck out of it. Discord.gg slash AU. And if you do decide to take them up on any of their offers over there, remember to use the promo code AHOY. There we go. Panthers. Unsuccessful challenge. And the Tigers. They're going to have a full set of six here. 30 meters out from the line. Willie Peruka. Ahoy there. There is Justin Ollum crashing onto the ball. 25 out from the Panthers line. Coruscant out to the right. Galvin inside ball to Alex Twal. Chance here for the Tigers looking to even things up. Back inside goes Bula to Galvin. Afinu is wrapped up, fighting, trying to get the arms free in a three man tackle. He's a big unit, Finu. Well, both of those Finu boys are. They're massive. Through the hands now out to the right. Jareem Buller throws the Harbour Bridge pass right over the top of everybody and into touch. The Panthers' defense holds firm. Again, Brian Toto was just so far in field, though. This would be a really interesting game to dissect because there's got to be some sort of reasoning behind why the Panthers wingers are so far in field defensively. It could be somebody said earlier in the chat, and I didn't get a chance to sort of get around to it, but 
somebody did say in the chat earlier that it could be um as i say yo beats the first up tackle of coruscant it could be the absence of Stephen Crichton overcompensating for the absence of Crichton. The wingers jamming in, not putting faith in, in Tungo and Alamotti. Which is interesting. Could be true. A new defensive pattern to allow for the absence of Crichton. Who knows? The ball goes high. Fifth and last. It's a great kick. Taken by Naden at the back. He's been very chill under the high ball tonight, Naden. Beats the first up chaser. And he's wrapped up. Gee, am I using OBS? Uh, yes, yeah, Streamlabs OBS. As a matter of fact. I am a member of Streamlabs, so. It is software I swear by. Streamlabs OBS. Tigers doing it rough here. This set of six, although Finu gets a good charge forward there. Fifth and last, just outside their own 40. Caesar puts the kick up, well taken at the back by To'o. To'o slips. Lua gets shoved out of the way. And the Panthers will start this set. 30 out from their own line, now driven backwards in a three-man tackle. Alamotti, a penalty to the Panthers. Alamotti's won the... <laughs> Sorry, I just caught, I caught a glimpse of my little ponytail in the, in the thing there. Um, Alamotti's one they stole back from the Bulldogs, isn't it? Pilfered him back from Canterbury. Because Lord knows the, the, the Bulldogs have stolen quite a few. I never did get to have that break at halftime. The chat room was going off, huh? You kept me busy. It's all right. I'll be having a, a break in between this game and the next one. So I've got no excuses, really. I shouldn't need one. Panthers on the back of that penalty on the attack. Sorensen offloads to Kenny. Edwards now chews off an extra five or six meters. Puts the pass in midfield. And they've spilt the ball. Tigers have it early in their tackle count. Another mistake from the Panthers. Uncharacteristic. Dane Laurie it was with the spilt ball. Eight errors to six. Both teams high in the error count. After starting the game so well, both of them. 40 out from the Panthers line now. Caesar goes on a dart. Trying to find a couple of tiring forwards. Two tackles left here in this set. Safarth links up with the Tikamanu. Back to Safarth. Still going. He's brought down now. Fifth and last. 20 out from the line. Coruscant goes down the right-hand side. Caesar floats the cutout pass right onto the chest of Bateman, but a great legs tackle. Jerome Luai, I believe it was. Well, no, it wasn't. It was Alamotti. Jerome Luai just ran over to have some words after the fact. Uh, why do you ask there, G? Are you going to do some live streaming, are you? Be sure to let us know about that one, if, if you do. We'll come and check it out. We'll, we'll raid... We'll do a live stream raid. Panthers now with the ball back. Up towards halfway. Edwards inside ball to Smith. Smith up over halfway. Fifth and last. Some front football for the Panthers. Staying on the short side. 
Luai puts it high. Taken on the 10 meter line, Bula fires it back across in front of the post to Naden. Naden gets on the outside of Tongo. Uh, before, before when you were in the Philippines, you used to do some streaming, but not about footy. Well, that's all right. I've got a, uh, I actually have two other channels, but, um, yeah, Intoxigamer, where I do gaming, of course. DJ Shaq says, I think when you set the bar so high psychologically, it seems almost to others who impose those expectations. It's shocking when you seem average or below average. A hundred percent. A hundred percent, DJ Shaq. Because that's what I was thinking. Like during the halftime talk, I felt like, why am I talking about the Panthers like they're getting smashed 50 nil at the moment? <laughs> they're not going that bad. Oh no, Dylan Edwards. With a mistake, bringing the ball back from the kick return. Now that is unusual. Now that is unusual. Yeah, I'll share with the chat room. Now I've taken all the videos down on this channel. Yeah, I, now I've, I've taken all the videos down on this channel that I've just shared in the chat room, but I'll be putting them all back up again soon. I'll be, I'll be restarting that channel in due course. Scrum down here for the Tigers, 20 out from the Panthers line. They've just lifted. They've just gone up a gear here. They can sense it. They can sense the upset here, the West Tigers. Through the hands, they go to the right. Caesar, short pass. Five meters out, still driving forward here, the Tigers. Great run there from Papalihi. Tackle three. Out to the left, they go. No, inside ball to Finu. Finu steps. Andrew Abada, thank you very much for the sub. Coruscant from dummy half holds the pass up for Safarth. But the Panthers are all over that one. Fifth and last. Coruscant fires it out to the right. Caesar cut out pass, bounces kindly for the Tigers. Not played at. It'll still be fifth and He says six more tackles. Oh, the referees on, on bloody drugs to call that played at. And six again. But six more tackles here for the Tigers. Coruscant, the crash ball to Papalihi. Here they come, the West Tigers. Lined up out to the left, but Caesar with the inside ball to Twal. Alex Twal looking to get the arms free. Now they go left, safe up to Galvin. Flat pass to Finu. Finu's well wrapped up and a penalty to the Tigers for a high shot. More pressure. Twenty seven minutes left. Only four points the difference. Here come the Tigers. They put it into touch. Absolutely no thought of taking the two. Olam taps it, fires it back in midfield to Galvin. Coruscant shapes left, but they go right. Galvin, crash ball to Papalihi. Five out from the line. They've got numbers to the right here, the Tigers. They go left, though. Safarth to Caesar. Inside ball to Finu. Jeez, he's a big man. Finu. They stay left. Excuse me. I think I, I, th I think I just burped. I do apologize. Excuse me. Tackle four. Ten meters out. Coruscant calling the troops on the right-hand edge. And that's where they go. Caesar to Buller. Gets it onto Bateman. Bateman cuts back in field for some reason. It was on out to the right, but he's cut back in field. Fifth and last. Just sets it up in front of the post. 
Chorus out at Galvin. Galvin runs it to the line. Puts the grubber kick in and diving on the loose ball. I believe that's Jerome Luai there. I can't tell because I can only see his ass at the moment. And no, it was Caesar. No, it wasn't. Caesar plays for the Tigers. It was um, Brad Schneider. Fisher-Harris coming back on now to finish the match. Will that turn this Panthers forward pack around? Uh, we saw a little glimpse there in that period, I suppose, of life without Fisher-Harris here for the, uh, for the Panthers. Ellis, Williams, ahoy there. Not going to lie, this game is oddly close. To be honest, it shouldn't be. <laughs> Maybe there's just something in the air at Bathurst because... As it was rightly pointed out, and let's not forget that this corresponding match last year, the Tigers actually won. So maybe there is just something in the air at Bathurst that the Panthers don't like and they don't perform well. Brent Naden taking the hit up for the Tigers. William Sawang says, Tungo, please get me a try. William from Lay City, PNG. Maybe it's the rubber from the supercars. All that, yeah, all that burnt rubber in the air. Fifth and last, Tigers. Olam takes the tackle. 45 out. Caesar waits for it in midfield. Kicks down the short side. High. Edwards is under it, takes it. Now, he dropped the ball last time, bringing it back to contact, Edwards. But as you would expect, he doesn't make that mistake again. To'o puts the head down, charges into the Tigers' defense. The Panthers still lead this game, though. Let's not get carried away. 23 minutes, 40 to go, and the Panthers are still leading. Fisher Harris to Yo. Yo at the back to Schneider. Bumping off the first tackle is Garner. Finds some extra meters. Fifth and last. Panthers. 30 out from the line. Luai off the left boot puts it high. The kick chase is okay. Putting a little pressure on Staines. Staines with a risky offload to Buller. Buller takes it. Jeez, that was risky though. 23 minutes left. Staines has the ball back now. Naden from dummy half. A nice little 10-meter dart from Brent Naden. He's had a good game. Safe half to Caesar. Some space out to the right here for the Tigers if they can get there. Caesar goes through, but his ankle tapped. 40 out from the line now. A second effort in the tackle, surely, and a penalty to the Tigers. I'm not surprised with that one. Had to be a pen. Well, it could have been a six again, given the field position. Could have been a six again. But the referee's gone straight to the full penalty. The Panthers just... Starting to feel it a little bit here. The Tigers are starting to dominate possession and territory. But can they break the line? I mean, that's the most important thing at the end of the day, isn't it? Can they bust the line? Otikamano's going to try his best and he loses the ball. The Panthers dive on it. It wasn't even the first tackle. They've tapped and gone and dropped it on zero tackle. Oh, that's a huge let off for the Panthers. And it was a Tikimano as well, so that's not going to help his contract negotiations with Penrith. As the Tigers have their 10th error of the match. That was a biggie, though. That was a biggie. Yo, into first receiver, out to Fisher Harris and Sorensen. Dummies. Goes on his own, is wrapped up. Brought down by Caesar. They stay on the short side. Kenny to Luai. Luai puts the little jink on. Fifth and last now. Penrith. 40 out from the Tigers line. Schneider. 
Puts it high. Taken at the back by Buller. Back into contact. Very nice. Expansive play from the Tigers again. They are not afraid to throw the ball around in front of their own post as Sonny Taruva reels away. Reels away from contact there. He's hurt his wrist. Tigers, they've started to just take some chances now. And I suppose they have to. They kind of have to. They've got to try and break this Panthers defense apart, which has been very, very strong. Richard Kamar, ahoy there. This channel is very accurate and easy to watch. Full supporter for the Panthers, all the way from Mount Hagen City, PNG. DJ Shaq says they need some reward for all their possession and territory. Talking about the Tigers there, of course. As they get the kick away on the fifth and last now, the Panthers let it bounce. It pops up nicely for Edwards. Edwards brings it back. Panthers have it now. 25 out from their own line. Glenn Woods, ahoy, mate. Ahoy there, chat and boss. Great commentary. Had me laughing. Ref's got the best drugs, I hear. Yes, indeed. If he called that a six again, play that six again. He's uh, clearly got some good... They've got some good stuff in the air over there at Bathurst. Not that the referee's from Bathurst, but he probably um, had a little bit of a party last night. Chill vibes, ahoy there. The Panthers now starting to get some front football. And just as I say that, it goes to ground. Edwards has to go back and recover it. Bit than last. They're 30 out from the Tigers line. Schneider puts it high into the corner. The chase is good from Tungo. Tungo's up and almost comes down with it. Who's touched it? Who's lost it? Who's done anything? What's happened here? Tigers ball. Yes. Tungo. Kicks it into touch. Tigers ball, 10 out from their own line. I actually, DJ Shaq, I, when I first found out that Alamotti was coming across to the Panthers, and uh, before the season kicked off, we were talking about doing a Waste of Water Sports, not just the tipping comp, because we have the tipping comp every year, but I was talking about doing a fantasy, NRL fantasy, uh, or what's, what's it called? Supercoach. NRL Supercoach. When I heard that Alamotti was going to the Panthers, I actually, I was going to have him in my team on the bench, of course, because I, I figured he wasn't going to get a whole lot of game time. But uh, yeah, I, great player. I would have snapped him up. But uh, time escaped me and I... I didn't really get a chance to put a super coach team in, but I can guarantee you that he would have been on my bench ready to break out whenever he was going to get some game time. 17 and a half minutes to go. Panthers have the ball. 20 out from their own line. They stretch it wide to the right. Tungo steps inside Olam, steps inside Galvin and goes up over halfway. That was a great run from Isaac Tungo. Very little involvement in this game, but that was a good run there. Now Fisher-Harris steps around. Coruscant is lined up by Safarth. That was surely a shoulders hit. Luai to Sorensen. Gets the ball back to Alamotti. Alamotti bumps off one, bumps off two. Alamotti for the corner. We were just talking about him, and there he is. Fending off two Tigers and scoring in the corner with a great individual effort. And now he's all cramped up and Dylan Edwards has to give him a little bit of a, <laughs> a, little bit of a uh, push there on the leg. But we were just talking about his defense and here he is getting involved in attack. The offload from Sorensen and from a flat-footed start too. From a standing start, Alamotti goes through one, two, three and scores in the corner. 14 points to six, the kick to come. Don't you worry about these Penrith Panthers. They lose players, but 
I mean, look, Alamotti's a reserve. They lost Stephen Crichton. They just bring in Taylor May. They lose Taylor May to injury or, and, or injury or suspension. I can't. I think he might be suspended at the moment. Paul Alamotti. It's a system. It's a system team. They're absolutely unbelievable at the moment. The Panthers, they are in such good shape. 14 points to six. Kick to come. Dylan Edwards from the sideline. Hooks it over. And the Penrith Panthers now lead 16 points to six. There we go. Score updated. 15 minutes to go. 10 points the difference. They're not out of this. They are not out of this. The Tigers by any stretch of the imagination. Tigers with the restart. Panthers with the ball from the kickoff. Tackle three. 30 out from their own line. Up towards halfway. Yo in at first receiver. Puts the head down. Keeps his feet. They can't put him down. Up over halfway now. Edwards. <laughs> I'm sorry. Glenn Woods. I very much appreciate the compliment. 100%. But um, yeah. I, I, I balls up the players' names a lot. <laughs> oh, that's a huge hit at the back. Another hospital pass. From Staines to Buller. And this time he's been leveled right in front of his own posts. Yeah, in, in fairness, one thing that I do quite regularly, sometimes on purpose, is get the names wrong. It, to be fair, I do it on purpose sometimes. I've got like... Um, like... Uh, the Melbourne Storm games... Um, when, when I always call what's-his-face Karma Chameleon, even though I know that's not his name. Zo Piru, ahoy there. Oh, the arms are free, and the offload to Olam. Olam can't get the ball. He can't reel it in, and it's lost forward. Finu gets the arms free, the pass... Olam had to reach back for it. Can't bring it in. Oh, Taylor May was named for this game, but he had to withdraw due to unnamed personal matters. Okay, there you go. Nothing. It has nothing to do with the video of him speeding through. Oh, was that him? Was that him in that video? There you go. Yeah, right. And he was the passenger as well. I didn't know that either because I, I really didn't care to look into it all that much so hey they, all right so he was the passenger and it also has nothing to do with that there we go but a mistake on halfway for the tigers and here come the penrith panthers tackle four. Oh no coruscant favoring a shoulder there by the looks no he's okay through the hands now luai's got it out on the left Steps back in field, fires it back across the post to Garner, and Garner is taken down. Fifth and last. They're 30 out here, the Panthers. Luai puts it high into the corner. Stains under the pump again, does well. At least he held the ball too that time. And they've lost the ball. Tackle one. 
Oh, Staines has had a horror last couple of minutes, hasn't he? The hospital pass over to Buller, and now he's got a sloppy play of the ball. Yeah, Car Karma Chameleon is. Um, hang on, I've got a, I've got a team sheet here of all my affectionate nicknames for players. Nicknames. Karma Chameleon is. Is. Tui, Kama Kama Kamai, Kami. Oh, Kama. This, see, this is why I call him Karl, Karma Chameleon. Because I can't, for the love of Christ, say his actual name. Tui Kema Kemakai. Kema Kamaki. Kema Kamaka. I see, this is why I call him... This is why I call him Karma Chameleon. Because it's just better for me trying to do that every time. Imagine listening to a call and I'm doing that every single time I try and say the guy's name. It's much easier to call him Karma Chameleon. <laughs> Tackle four here for the Panthers. They're five out from the line. Kenny to Yo. Yo dummies and goes on his own. They don't fall for it, though, the Tigers. Fifth and last. Panthers go right. Schneider dummies and goes through on his own. He's short. Great defense on their own goal line here from the Tigers. I think it's... I think it's um, Tui Kemakamika. Yeah? I think that's how you pronounce it. Kemakamika. But look how long that took me. I had to take the afternoon off to have a think about it. So, yes, uh, he is Karma Chameleon. And I've got a whole bunch of other nicknames as well for players that I uh, whip out every so often. It's a good lot of fun. But what I don't like about Matt Thompson is uh, that he talks over the... When he does those podcasts with, like, Gus Gould and stuff, he, talk, he talks and laughs over the top of them constantly. It's like, just shut up and let them talk because they're the ones we're here to listen to. Know your role. Know your role and shut your mouth. Uh. Game Mel, ahoy there. Now, what did you spend your money on from your big multi win the other night? The Tigers are just starting to push it a little bit too much here now. They're only trailing by 10, but they are starting to play a little bit of reckless attack, and the Panthers have it back from another mistake. Edwards tries to put the step on. He's wrapped up. 20 out from the line now. Panthers looking to put this game to bed. The pass to Fisher Harris on the crash ball. He gets away and scores. And that will be the game. James Fisher Harris. Bursting through the middle of the pack. 20 points to six. That'll be the game, I dare say, with eight minutes to go. Fisher Harris had no right to score that. Beats the tackle of Papa Leahy. And he looks up and there's no one in front of him. Puts the head down and charges forward to score what is surely the match winning try. 20 points to six. The kick to come from right beside the post. Nothing much. Some new stack cups. I mean, I'm not even, that's not even a joke, Gamma Mel, because I'm sure that there are actual, like, you don't just go down to the supermarket and buy a bunch of those party cups. Like, there's actual official stacking cups. And I should imagine they're not cheap. So a new set of stacking cups. I saw um, Game Mel, I saw on Instagram not that long ago that Arcade Angel was at some TikTok event. 
I've noticed that Arcade Angel has moved over, kind of like, you know, Intoxigamer has migrated over to the Wasted World of Sports. I've noticed as Dylan Edwards converts to make it 22 points to six, I've noticed that um, Arcade Angel has sort of migrated away from YouTube and is doing more the TikTok thing these days. It's interesting how, like, we've all, we've all changed and gotten bigger. Gamer Mel says there are actual cups. Might buy some soon. Have a lot. I should imagine you do. Like me with darts, right? It, well, why would you know that? <laughs> like me with darts, right? As if... <laughs> yeah, I've got, I've got like darts. Darts and darts stuff everywhere. There's unopened darts flights out on the kitchen bench. There's darts behind me, behind the green screen. There's darts on my desk. Next to me, I love my darts. Six minutes, 40 to go in this one, and the Panthers are well in control now. 22 points to six. Hard to see a way back here for the Tigers. They've performed admirably, though, the West Tigers. Let's not take that away from them. Even if the Panthers bag another one or two in this last five minutes... Let's not take away from the fact that they were made to work for it every step of the way. As Luai puts it high, Jareem Buller under it, takes it well in the face of the oncoming Panthers defense. Now they spread it wide to Olam. Olam flicks the pass out to Naden. Naden has a little bit of space. Sam Borger needs Dylan Edwards to score to get $500. All right, come on. Five minutes 40 to cheer on. A try for Dylan Edwards. I'll release some... Um, what I should do, UFC, is I should release like a... Uh, one of those 10-hour loops. I'll do, I'll do a bunch of those 10-hour loop videos, but it's just me talking absolute nonsense. Oops. Fifth and last here, Tigers chip and chase, but look at that. Dylan Edwards flying onto the ball. Beats the first tackle, and the Panthers have it on halfway. Ellis Williams says, have I seen the video of Naden delivering the worst hospital pass in reserve grade? I haven't, but I saw him deliver a horrible hospital pass here today in first grade. It happened right before my very eyes. Poor Jareem Buller. He was on a hiding to nothing on the back end of that pass. Yo to Luai. Luai puts the grubber kick in. It's been trapped by Caesar. Caesar is blowing up big time at the referee. He is so angry. It's been called a knock-on. Their captain's challenging, but even if it's a successful challenge, it's of little, of little um, consolation because he was away there, Caesar. Now he's trapped it with his boot. He's trapped. He's tapped it with his boot, and he hasn't touched the ball. And it's play on, and no wonder he's blowing up big time because he was away. Caesar was way upfield there. So even though this challenge is successful, it's of little consolation for the Tigers because they've just lost about... They've, lo they've lost at least 30 or 40 metres off that play. Barbara Uppy, ahoy there. Dylan Edwards needs to put a try. Well, he won't be because Dylan Edwards is off the field. Dylan Edwards has been replaced for the last four minutes, so there goes everybody's multis. Dylan Edwards is off. Cutout pass is intercepted by Tungo. I um, mean, it's not Tungo, it's Alamotti. Alamotti is getting involved in it. DJ Shaq, this guy is unstoppable. Defense, scoring tries, taking intercepts. Zach Oliphant has, has To'o scored. I'm assuming To'o. 
No, he hasn't. Schneider inside ball now to Sorensen. Runs back in field. Dummies to himself for some reason. And then throws the ball straight to Lockie Galvin, which seems like a logical thing to do. I'm falling to ground in the tackle. I'll throw it straight to the opposition. Why not? Scott Sorensen fishing for a uh, Tigers contract, I think. Two minutes 50 to go. I just, I just call him Big Tino, Ellis. It's a lot easier. A lot easier. Big Tino. I might even get lazy enough one day to just call him Big T. Big T sounds like a gang name. Big T. Fifth and last, Tigers on halfway. They just haven't got into it in this second half. They're going to run it, though, and this is a great run. Support from Galvin. Galvin with the flick pass back inside to Papalihi. Papalihi pops it up, and there is James Fisher-Harris to pick up the loose ball. And he offloads to Tungo. Tungo dances away up outside the 20-meter line for the Panthers. Enterprising stuff there from the Tigers. Too little, too late either way, but that was a good run from Bateman, I think it was, who set that up. Bateman to Galvin, and then it all sort of fell to pieces. 15 minutes away from the start of Super Rugby Pacific, Blues versus Brumbies. One minute 20 left in this game. Fisher-Harris up over halfway. That's a good run. Luai, who's taken over the kicking primarily from Schneider. Targets Charlie Staines again. Hoping for another one of those hospital passes, I dare say. The last minute of the game. 22 points to six. The Panthers not as comfortable as the scoreline suggests. Let's be honest about that. The Tigers have done extremely well. Ellis Williams, what do I think of the Crusaders' form this year? Disappointing. Extremely disappointing. I mean, that's my team. The Crusaders. What happened to them? But, um... Yeah. Disappointing. <laughs> what can I say? But, I mean, you, you lose a Richie Mawanga. And they, they had the replacement lined up for Richie, but then he broke his shoulder or something right before a game was even played. Fifth and last, Tigers put it down and playing at fullback is Dane Laurie. Dane Laurie is slotted in at fullback for Dylan Edwards. And this will be the last play of the game and Jerome Luai just goes into contact and surrenders in the tackle. And the Penrith Panthers have won 22 points to six. It was far from it was far from comprehensive. It was hard fought. But those are the games you like to win. Those are the games you have to win. Well you because you'd like to win them all, obviously. Twenty two points to six. A great effort, though, from the Tigers. I mean, I don't think that they can... They they shouldn't feel disgraced by that. 16 points, but it was far closer than that scoreline suggests. Really is. They put a great effort in. The Penrith Panthers, just too good. A, system, a systematic team. Just way too good. All right, Wasted World of Sports coming up. Titans versus the Seagulls, and then the Broncos versus the Raiders later tonight. We'll end this one so that I can go get ready for those. The stream's already set up, though. It's on the channel, so... Um, oh, I probably should get the link for you. It'd be easier, wouldn't it?
Let's make life a little bit easier. Grab that. All right, there we go. I plastered it all over the chat room. That is coming up next here on the Wasted World of Sports. Titans versus the Sea Eagles and then Broncos versus Raiders coming up after this. Thank you so much, each and every one of you. I very much appreciate your company as always. And I'll catch you very, very soon for the next game. Titans, Sea Eagles. Coming up on the Wasted World of Sports. Cheers. The Wasted World of Sports, eh? Oh, he's copped a head right to the nuts. Tedesco's butt crack. Ahoy! He's nearly taken security's head off. I have no idea what the wasted world of sports is.